week on The Limit joins the queues at Fuji Speedway to check out this class queue of cars. The field for round two of the Autofax Japan GT Championship. Machinery of many kinds is in evidence today around Mount Fujiyama. But it's this machinery that's attracted a crowd of 50,000 for round two of the Autobax Japan GT Championship. A 500k race at the flat out Fuji Speedway on the foothills of the mountain. Round two of the Autobax Japan GT Championship about to get underway finds Joichi Wakasaka in the SO car on pole position. Alongside of him in another Supra, that's Yuji Tashikawa out on the right. And then behind them, one of the two McLarens in the field, both of them also finding good pace here with the Supra. That is Naoki Hattori settling into third place. In the fourth spot, Takeshi Suchia in that Tokyo Hon Tom Supra. And then the second McLaren, Hideki Okada at the wheel of that one. So the longest race of the year getting underway here in front of a very big crowd, over 53,000 people here today, even though they're fairly well spread out around this big Fuji layout. So the uh, McLaren putting a bit of pressure on there on the second place spot at the moment. Those three making a bit of a break away from Suchia in the fourth place car. Holding down sixth place, that's the first Honda in the field in qualifying yesterday. The Autobax car driven now by Keiichi Suchia. That's the red and white car just tracking the number 30 McLaren. Just behind him, that's three of the front runners from round one. Jeremy Dufour in the number 39 red and white uh, Denso Saad Supra there. Tracked by Ralph Furman in the mobile Honda. And right behind him, Dominic Schwager in the number 16 Honda NSX. So low cloud showing in the background here as Joichi Wakasaka leads the field around back onto the front straight. The mountain covered today, very, very hot sunny day yesterday, but today quite cool and overcast with the threat of rain maybe later in this race. Hattori in the McLaren just gathering himself there in third place, looking to see if he can do something about the Supras out front. But so far, not even with the benefit of the draft down this long straight. As you see others fighting there in the background, Dominic Schwager pulling down the inside. On the inside of him, that's the Zent Supra, driven by Takuya Kurosawa. He makes contact, I think, in the background. Yes, indeed. There goes Furman and Dominic Schwager spinning off. I think there was a three-way contact there between the two Hondas and that Zent Supra. So the Supra's in the pits for new tyres. A puncture there probably from the contact. Berman getting towed out of the uh, kitty litter and uh, Schwager's car getting some front damage repaired as well. So uh, these guys will now drop to the back of this group as the restart comes, the safety cars come and gone. Wakasaka controlling things from the front in that SO Supra. Kashikawa behind him really doesn't get any show of a run at him there, nor does uh, Hattori in the McLaren, nor Okada in the second McLaren right behind him. The pack safely underway again with the Toyotas and the McLarens dominating up front. Look out, here comes Masami Kagiyama down the inside of Jeremy Dufour in the Denso Toyota. Gets the pass done? Well, maybe. Ooh, just about a touch there, Dufour not giving away anything at all. These two side by side through the complex, but I think Kagiyama will have the run on him. Yep, he's got the pass completed now, so Kagiyama moves up one place. Oh, and look who else is trying to move up one place. The critical fight for the lead. The SO Supra under attack here from Tashikawa's car. More passing moves going on down the front straight here at Fuji. And Tashikawa gets the lead away, does he? Yes, looks like he's got it. So the Surumo car goes into the lead. Oh, this is the fight for sixth place. Jeremy Dufour has got back past Kagiyama and now gets Keiichi Suchia's Honda as well. Yes, he's got the pass done. So Suchia drops down two places in one corner. Now Dufour, really the man on the move, pushing past Okada's McLaren down the front straight. Looks like he's got him. Just wait for the McLaren under brakes. No, he's done it. 
So he's gone up another place and looks like Kageyama's going to follow him through past the McLaren as well. Now it's Suchia, the veteran in the auto, backs Honda coming down the inside of Okada. So the McLaren driver really taking a bit of a hit as well right now. The fight for GT300 second place between the Honda out on the left, that is Akira Watanabe's car. He qualified second, lost the place to Morio Nitta here, who made a great start, came up from sixth place on the grid in that little auto backs MRS. Oh, this is the red and whiteness and Sylvia of Tetsuya Yamano getting very loose in front of a bunch of the GT500 cars. Everyone comes through unscathed though. Oh, the Zent car in trouble again, back in pit lane. Heavy traffic here as Katsuyoshi Hoshino fights off Sebastian Philippe's Honda. Oh, now Hoshino collides with Koji Matsuda's MRS, and it looks like Hoshino at least is going to be out of this race. Damage on the front right suspension, we can see Matsuda resuming and Hoshino retiring. Out front, no such dramas though for Tashikawa. The Sarumo car quite serenely in command of this race. Still plenty of action just here though, this is Kageyama in the Nissan, just ahead of Sebastian Philippe in the Takataka, oh and that's what split them up, this is Yoshimi Ishibashi, spun in front of the field, scary moment but he gets away with it. This is second place on back, Wakasaka leading the group, oh and in the background Dufour in trouble, looks like suspension damage or maybe a flat tyre, ah that's probably the trouble. Remnants of rubber left mid-track, brings out the safety car. And that brings a rush to the pits, including the race leader, I think. Yes, there he is. Tashikawa in to hand over to Hironori Takeuchi. And he's followed by the other front runners. There's the yellow corn, McLaren resuming. Wayne Gardner getting into the race as well in the Tokyo on Tom's car. The GT300 leader, the VMAC, has stopped. Oh, and so is the third place car. That's Morio Nitta's MRS. Oh, the VMAC is back in. So a problem there for them, and that could be very costly. Look at this, the second-placed Honda in as well, and that means that this car, the number 71 car of Guts Yonai, now leads GT300. What a turn-up. Out front, though, after the restart, it's still the Sarumo car in the lead, now with Takeuchi at the wheel. But look at the fight going on, Akira Aida in the SO car fighting off the McLaren, and he fails. So Aichi Tajima going through for second. Now the GT300 leader, that's Kaita Sawa and the number 71 MRS is coming under attack as well from the number 19 Wed Sport car. Third place, this is the VMAC, now with Shogo Mitsuyama at the wheel. Takeuchi now with his hands full in the lead of the race because Tajima is drafted right up behind the Supra, trying down the inside, thinks better of it. We're not even at the halfway point yet in this 114 lap or 500k race but look at the pressure coming on from the yellow corn mclaren on the au sarumo supra out front and as they take the back of the fuji circuit you can see the 19 car the little mrs being picked up now by the vmac that is for second place in gt300 while this fight goes on for the lead of gt500 Satoru Goto and that little uh, MRS, the yellow car, pulling wide there. But he's almost left the gate open for the VMAC and he's got him. Down the front straight now, the VMAC pulls alongside. That's a great recovery from what we understand was a loose wheel on its first pit stop. Ah, Manabu Arido and that car he shares with Jeremy Dufour. Looks like their race is now run. The VMAC team taking the opportunity to stop under the safety car caution period. But now the restart and a resumption of the fight for the lead with Tajima and the McLaren really putting the pressure on Takeuchi in the super out front. And right behind them, Aida just watching for any opportunity he might have to get up there as well. So these three really fighting out the front of this race. Now here comes the McLaren, trying one side, now down the other. Well, this is a spirited move, that's for sure. He's made it stick. Well, that is a sensational move. Bobbles up onto the curb, but manages to hold on. So Tajima takes the lead away. Here comes the SO car as well. He's through to second. How that was an opportunistic move. But now Takeuchi wants it back and he's inside Aida's car. Down the front straight here and makes this one stick, does he? Whoa, very close, but he's done it. 
Virtually identical cars these two are in, both work supported Toyotas, run by different teams of course, but both two litre turbocharged fours under the bonnets of those Supras. Oh, trouble there for the leader! Looks like he's had a major lock up into turn one. Where's the second place car? I think he's got him. The Sarumo car, I'm sure I saw flash through there. And here goes the SO car as well. Aida goes through for second. So there is definitely a problem for Tajima in the yellow corn McLaren. And there it is, the left front, flat as he comes into the pits to stop. So that takes him out of the front running contention for the moment. And this man in second, well, he's got a time penalty on him. So Akira Aida is going to have to come round and pull into pit lane. We know not what the penalty is for. Could have been something in the pit stops. Do not know. But the Tokyo on Tom's car with Wayne Gardner at the wheel is going to be the car that takes over that second place. There he is, Gardner making his way through heavy traffic there in the number 36 car. And behind him, the Autobax Honda, driven now by Katsutomo Kaneishi. Now Gardner's in. That'll put Kaneishi up one place. And the GT300 leader is in as well. Don't be confused by this. The McLaren's just unlapping himself at the moment from the Autobax car that still runs in second place outright. Oh, now he may be first because the Sarumo car's been in the pits. Oh, now that is bad luck for the Sarumo team. They stopped under green flag conditions. Now the safety car is out because the mobile Honda's off on turn one. So everybody else diving into pit lane to make the most of this safety car period, stopping and not losing so much time as the Sarumo team did. Uh -huh. Sure enough, even though the Autobax car has been in the pits as well, it resumes in the lead with Keiichi Sichia back at the wheel and right behind him, Dominic Schwager. What a comeback! Involved in a collision on lap two of this race and now back up to second place. This is a real turnaround. The Supras and McLaren so dominant here up till now. Suddenly we've got two Hondas in the lead of the race. Schwager looking like he's going to dive down the inside. No, he's not, but Suchia gets loose. Schwager goes on through. Hattori could also get involved in this, even though he is a lap down on them, and that's just going to complicate things. So Hattori trying to find a way by the uh, Autobax Honda as well. So far, not. So Schwager going ahead, and yes, here comes the McLaren, so he's going on by. Well, Suchia's not keen to let him through, that's for sure. And now Tashikawa starting to close in on the two Hondas as well. So in third place, the number one Sarumo Supra trying to make a comeback and reclaim this race from the Hondas just ahead. So Schwager in the 16 car. What a comeback that is. Oh, and in the background, the Lamborghini has a big accident. This on the entry to the front straight. So the Lamborghini with the rear end torn off it by the looks of it and bits of debris all over the track. This will bring out a safety car for sure. So yet another uh, yellow flag period. This has been a very, very eventful race. Now for the restart. Oh, and the Zen car gets a shunt right as the light goes green. He resumes, avoided the wall. Out front though, Schwager staying clear of trouble and staying clear of Suchia's Honda. And also that Supra, very, very threatening there in third place. That is Tashikawa trying to get back to the lead of this race. The Supra proved to be the faster of these cars in qualifying, of course, qualified second quickest. The lead car of Schwager only qualified back in ninth place, and Suchia was the fastest of the Hondas in sixth place in qualifying. So somewhere Schwager has gathered some awesome speed in this car to get back to the front of the race. Behind them, Gardner just holding off Okada. Oh, Okada hits him! So the McLaren driver turns the uh, Supra around, and this could be very costly for Gardner, who was holding down fourth place. There's one of the Nissans going by. That means he'll be back to about sixth. And now gets underway. There's another of the Nissans, so he's almost under threat from that car for another place. That's Eric Comas in the 23 car, riding out alongside there, trying to find a way by Gardner Supra. And looks like he's gathering himself for a charge. Oh, bang into the side. Gardner's really in the wars. And up front, look at this challenge for second place. He's got it. Tashikawa goes on by Suchia. 
and leaves the Honda behind him. And Schwager not all that far ahead, so this battle is well and truly heating up. So now a Supra divides the two Hondas up front. Here's Gardner, he's got back ahead of the number 23 Nissan, left Comas behind there. And here comes Tashikawa down the inside of Schwager's car, and he's got him. So Tashikawa gets the number one Surumo Supra back into the lead of the race. So a Toyota reigns back out front. There's been a McLaren there. There's been a Honda there, plus the Supras. This is for fourth place. That's the Wakasaka car just holding off Hiroki Kato and Satoshi Moriyama in the Nissan. And in GT300, the Minoru Tanaka go to MRS, still out ahead and unchallenged by the look of it. The VMAX now up to second. The NSX behind him, which was in second earlier, is now lapped down. Another penalty, this one for the Chrysler Viper, the number 55 car that has just made it up to third place in GT300. Now he's going to take a drop because he'll be going to pit. Oh, now he takes a hit. So he's been collected by the Raybrick car. The Nissan swerves off to avoid them. Now the Viper driver accelerates straight into Wayne Gardner's car takes out the left front of it in a virtual head-on accident. Gardner came around the corner to be confronted by that Viper heading straight for him. Unbelievable. There's the aftermath, the front left of the Supra torn right out, and Gardner back in the pits explains just how it happened. No problems though for Tashikawa, well and truly in control out front on the restart. You can see Schwager caught up behind some GT300 cars, including the VMAC which pulls right in front of him. Now he gets on by though as he goes down into the braking area into turn one. Just a little bit behind you see Suchia's Honda, the Autobax car, just ahead of the SO Supra. So these two look like they've still got a bit of racing to do too. This is around fifth place or so in GT300, the Guts Yonai MRS, the number 71 car, in a bit of a battle there with one of the Porsches. But look at this fight. This is second place, and it looks like Suchi is losing that place to Wakasaka coming down the inside in the number 6 SO Supra. So look at this, Toyotas, if he can make the stick, that is. We'll be back. Oh, look at Suchi come back around the outside of him. Is he going to make this one work or not? Down to the next corner, he's got the run on him. Suchia's going to hold him out. How about that? And what a great comeback. Looked like the passing move had been made well and truly, but he had other ideas. But now look at uh, Wakasaka gathering himself again. No chance there. Now the 76 McLaren in the penalty box. Oh, and here comes Wakasaka one more time. This time he has got this pass made, I think. Let's see if he can make it stick this time. Suchia coming back down underneath him. Ooh, very tight, but no contact. Nice clean racing between these two. Oh, no, now disaster for long-time GT300 leader. This is Satoru Gotu, and he's driving quite slowly. The hazard light indicating that he's in trouble, and here comes the VMAC in second place and shutting him down rapidly. Consternation at the Wed Sport team, that's for sure. And there goes the VMAC, he's got him. So the VMAC retakes this lead. And up front, this is the fight for second. Schwager trying to fight off Wakasaka. Wakasaka's got so much speed. Oh, threads the needle through there. Now they almost touch. And Schwager coming back down the inside. Oh, forces the uh, super out wide and holds the inside line. Great racing between these two, and it's just a lap or so to go. That is all. A race right down to the wire for second place at the very least. Now the SO car pulls ahead. Oh, Schwager has a look down the inside, pulls back in behind as they both negotiate that stricken Wed Sport MRS. No such last minute dramas for this man, Yuji Tashikawa. Now just rounding out the last lap of this 114 lap, 500 kilometre race. He's had the lead a couple of times in the race, lost it shortly before halfway to the McLaren, gained it back for a second time, lost it to two Hondas, and now is going to come home to take this round two of the Autobax Japan GT Championship. Yuji Tashikawa across the line, first place to the Supra. And coming down the track now, about five seconds behind the leader, 
Here comes the second super of Juichi Wakasaka, just fighting off Dominic Schwager to the line. So it's Toyota's one and two. And in GT300, the VMAC makes this fantastic debut with a win. Shogo Mitsuyama at the wheel as he comes to the checkered flag. There's the 71 MRS that's come good in the last half hour of this race to come in second at GT300. Congratulations now from Takeyushi for his teammate Tashikawa. In GT500, after 3 hours 14 minutes of racing, Takeyushi and Tashikawa win by 5.3 seconds from Wakasaka and Aida. Ito and Schwager take third ahead of two more Hondas. In GT300, Shibahara and Mitsuyama bring home the VMAC 11.3 seconds ahead of Jonai and Sawa. Atsushi Yogo and Katsuyuki Nishizawa bring home their Porsche in third place. In the GT500 driver's standings, Takeyushi and Tashikawa now lead with 32 points ahead of round one winner Ralph Berman and Sugio Matsuda tied with Ito and Schwager. In the GT300 standings, Morio Neta and Shinichi Takagi, winners of round one, are now tied with Shinsuke Shibahara and Shogo Mitsuyama from the VMAC team.